Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So once again, we are going to do an awesome lead code problem that is really popular among tech companies for the interviews. So without any delay, let's get started. So the lead code problem we are going to solve today is called longest valid parentheses. And you can see that this one is a lead code hard problem and also an extremely well like problem on lead code. The problem statement is actually quite simple where we are told that we are given a string that contains just the characters opening uh, circular bracket and closing circular bracket. And now we need to return the length of the longest valid parentheses substring. Suppose we are given a string uh, like this. Now we can see that all of these are actually valid substrings uh, because they are coming in correct order. So in this case, since all of them are correct, we can say that the longest substring that is valid is currently of six characters. Uh, same way, let's try to take one more example. Suppose the string we are currently given is something like this. Then we only have a valid, valid substring that is only valid for just two characters and these two are not part of the valid substring. So, okay. So we need to calculate that what is the consecutive longest valid substring and we need to return that. Now brute force approach logically we are going to do the most simplest things possible where we are simply going to check that uh, for every single substring from starting from any particular string we are going to check that what are the longest substring we are able to generate until we encounter some invalid substring. So overall this approach is a very simplistic approach that would work fine and generate the result. But the issue is this would operate in big of n square time. So we need to find some way to shorten this calculation and in a single go we need to identify that what are the current substring that we have been able to find is it valid or not and if it is valid what is the current length what is the maximum length we have been able to identify and subsequently when will when, at what point does it stop becoming valid so these are the questions we will have to answer uh, and then only we can find the optimal solution so now let's start looking about that what an optimal solution should look like suppose this is the string given to us as an input and now we are trying to find the solution now let's try to make some understanding clear and that would help us build our solution. Number one thing is the moment we identify at any given moment that there is a closing circular bracket and we haven't found the opening circular bracket which means we can directly ignore this case because this is definitely invalid because it does not have any previous opening curly bracket. That is number one observation. Number two observation is for any single opening or curly bracket, we will need to keep this information stored somewhere that we have one open bracket for which we are trying to find a subsequent close bracket. So it can come over here or maybe here or maybe it cannot be possible, but we will need to have that information. So these are the two pieces of information we will have to consider. Third thing is, it could be possible that we may find some existing valid uh, sequence like this but this may not be the longest valid sequence because longest valid sequence in this case is probably going to be this one. So which means we will have to keep track of the current sequence and we will also have to keep track of the valid sequence and also the longest sequence. Considering all of these things, it would make really good sense to use stack data structure for this problem. And why are we using stack? Because it, if we have to consider this to be valid, then immediately before this, there has to be an open bracket. Then only we can say that this is a valid scenario. And then this bracket would not be considered, which means this still needs to live inside the stack because stack follows an awesome property of last in first out that is going to be greatly helpful to us. So now using stack, we would be able to solve many different problems. And the idea is that for each of this position, rather than just storing whether it's an open or curly bracket, we can actually store the index values. So let me write down the index values. And now the thing is inside the stack, we will only push values when we encounter some open bracket because it could be possible that sometime in the future there might be a closing bracket. So and whenever we identify a closing bracket, we will try to see in the stack that whether there exists any particular uh, bracket that we can pop out. If it does, 
then it would be part of the valid sequence if it is not there then we will see all sorts of scenarios okay so i hope that all of these explanation makes sense and now you are able to understand that how we are actually going to use the stack for our solution so let's quickly generate the stack now we are going to keep track of a few variables so first one is that what is the current length we have been able to find next what is the maximum length we have been able to achieve now in order to keep track of the current length we will have we will need to know that where does the current valid substring starts so initially because we are actually using this as zero so initially our starter pointer needs to be somewhere over here before zero because we are starting the index from zero because imagine a scenario where we are only given an input like this which means this is zero one so based on the index location we know that this is actually a valid substring of size two but because we are starting the index from zero so we will actually create our initial starting pointer from minus one so it would be very convenient for us to calculate these values okay and you will understand the logic once we iterate over the the example so initially our starting pointer is going to be located at minus one position and this is where our starting pointer is okay so now let's quickly start iterating over the solution so logically first here we identify that this is a closing bracket for closing bracket we will have to pop one element out from the stack but the thing is currently stack is empty so because stack is empty this has to be an invalid entry so we can ignore this case and move on to the next element but when we move on to the next element we can say for sure that this is never going to be part of the uh, valid substring so we will need to update our start pointer so now we will have our start variable uh, being located at position number one so let's just mark our start variable at position number one current length is zero and maximum length is also zero we haven't been able to find any values okay so let's just mark these now we encounter an opening bracket so the moment we encounter the opening bracket we are going to be pushing the values inside the stack so let's mark the index value same way once again we identify an opening bracket so once again we are going to mark a, a value inside the bracket and when we are opening the brackets we don't need to update the current length or the maximum length because we haven't find any valid substring so far okay now we identified one closing bracket so the moment we identify a closing bracket we will have to pop element out of the stack so let's try to pop one element out of the stack if we pop this element out of the stack by the way this is this has to be number two okay by the way so number two index we are popping out of the stack which means that currently there what has been the current length we have been able to identify it so far that is so currently we are at element number three the element we popped out is located at element number two which means now this is no longer present over here which means currently we still have one element that is left inside the given stack so so far we can do the difference between this current element and the element that is already present inside the stack using the peak function so the difference is three minus one so so far we have been able to identify a length of two size valid st string so let's update the value that the current valid string that we have been able to find is of size two and the maximum length we have been able to identify it so far is also of size two now notice that we are not using the start variable right here uh, because th we th this is still not taken care inside the existing valid substring so that's why as long as there are some values present inside the stack we cannot conclude that uh, stack is empty and we have taken care of every single substring so that's why start pointer is still going to remain here so now let's move on to the next element now we are at position number four once again we identified the opening bracket so let's try to add one more value inside our existing stack so now the value is four okay now once again we identified a closing bracket so what the moment we identify a closing bracket we will have to pop one element out so let's quickly pop this element out now the element that is currently left inside the string is of size one so because this is of size one and the current element we are at is of size 5 which means the current substring that we have been able to find is 5 minus 1 so this is going to be uh, 4 so current length that we have been able to find the current maximum length is of size 4 and because this is of size 4 which means we will also have to update our maximum length as well 
and that is also going to be of size 4 okay now currently inside our stack we only have uh, one element that was that has been here for quite some time and now let us also try to move to the next element so once again we identified one more opening bracket so we will try to put element number 6 inside the bracket now once again we identified the opening bracket so we will try to put element number 7 inside the bracket and now at element number 8 we identified and by the way this current length would be reset, uh, reset every single time we update the value okay so this is always going to be reset because we don't know that what the current length is we only define the current length based on the value we pop out so now this is a closing bracket which means we will have to pop one element out so now we are located at value number eight we popped uh, element number seven out which means we still have one more open bracket located at element number six that we haven't taken care of so now we will do the difference between eight minus six and the value is two so current valid length that we have been able to identify is of size two but that is not greater than the maximum length we have been able to achieve so we are still going to mark this as value number four so this is the logic on how you can actually use stack to solve the problem now let me just show you one more example very quickly uh, and then we will uh, move to the coding solution basically this is the optimal solution so now let's just quickly start using the logic so currently we identify an opening bracket so we are going to mark value inside the stack we once again identify a closing bracket so once again we are going to pop this element out of the stack the moment we pop this element out of the stack and currently the stack is empty if the stack is empty then we will have to we found a valid string from the starting value so we are going to do the subtraction between the current value minus the starting value which means 1 minus minus 1 so the answer is going to be 2 so the current length that we have been able to identify is 2 and the maximum length we all we also identified is also 2 okay now once again so far remember this uh, s is the starting value is still going to remain here but now we identified a closing bracket but for this closing bracket we don't have any value inside our stack so because this stack is empty which means this is an invalid portion so now the starting value has to jump so now we are going to jump our starting value to start at this element number three okay now this at this element number three we identify an open bracket so we are going to add a value number three over here once again for four we identified a closing bracket so we will pop an element out of this loop so currently the stack is empty if the stack is empty so now we are uh, located at this position number four and by the way our starting position should be at this position number two okay so now uh, currently we need to because stack is empty we will need to do the difference so the difference between uh, current index and starting index is going to be 4 minus 2 so value is 2 so th this is the current length we have been able to identify it, and this is for this portion so now uh, maximum length does not need to change once again we identify an open bracket so we are going to add value number 5 over here and once again we identified a closing bracket so now we will have to pop this element number 5 from the loop as well so currently the string is empty because the string is empty we will have to do the current value minus x so it's going to be 6 minus 2 so once again the current length we have been able to identify it is 4 so the current length needs to be updated this is going to be 4 and because this is greater than our maximum length so we are also going to update this one and because we reach to the end of this uh, given string so we can return the maximum length as 4 so this is the whole logic that we can use to solve this problem and by the way if we see time complexity in this case the time complexity is going to be simply big o of n because we are simply iterating the given input array just once if we see space complexity because we are using an extra stack we will, it will also going to be big o of n So the coding solution is actually quite simple first we have a variable to store the maximum length then we initialize our stack and then we initialize the first value inside the stack as minus one this is going to be our starting pointer okay then we have our for loop to iterate over the given string s uh, character by character we check that whether the given string if that is an opening bracket or a closing bracket if it is an opening bracket we simply push that index position into the stack if that is not the case then there can be a couple of scenarios so in either scenario first we will have to pop the element out of the stack now after popping element out of the stack if the given stack is empty then we need to push the current index as the base for the next valid substring 
and uh, if that is not the case then we are going to calculate the maximum length so for maximum length we are simply going to do the max to compare the current maximum length minus i minus the peak that is currently present inside the stack and this is going to be give you give us the current length that we are dealing with and in the end we simply need to return whatever the max length we have been able to identify so let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and our code runs extremely fast and this is a very good time and space complexity so once again i would be posting this solution in the in our github repository so you can check it out from there the link is in the description thank you